Lauren Welch here, and today I want to talk about taking a look at your legacy DWF files and how those will integrate inside of Inventor Publisher. We're going to start out today inside of Inventor Professional and take a look at some of the different view reps and positional reps we have for the Shaver model. So we've taken a look at some of the different view reps and positional reps here. We just have a simple one representing um, our on and off switch in both the off and on position. Now let's take a look inside of Autodesk Designer View and take a look at the DWF file we published out. Not only does it have the 3D model that you see here, but like we all know with Designer View, I can I am able to go ahead and put a bunch of other things inside of this DWF file, including uh, bill of materials list, uh, presentation files. Uh, so here the presentation file, you can see the assembly instructions through the IPN file that was built inside of Inventor. So this is done um, for creating some simple exploded views like you'll see here on the drawing, uh, particularly for manufacturing. And what we're going to talk about is how can we leverage some of the sort of work that is done inside of Inventor Publisher. So let's take a look now at Inventor Publisher and we'll actually import this DWF file. Now remember, it's not just the 3D model, but it's also that presentation file, the 2D drawings, the bill materials, a lot of things. And I want to take a look at what Publisher takes advantage of. So here you'll see upon import, we have a, an initial snapshot, and we have some other storyboards that are automatically created. So let's take a look at some basic Publisher functionality, like changing the appearance style, um, maybe adding a ground shadow, things like that to get some, some kind of quick imagery. And let's go back and just set it back to defaults after we uh, rotate and set a view that we think is appropriate. So I'll go back and just go back to my default view and appearance styles. Now let's take a look at some of these uh, storyboards that were created automatically. You'll, no you'll notice here, these are all of my view reps along with my positional reps that were originally an Inventor Professional, went through through Design Review, and now automatically are imported into Inventor Publisher as snapshots. So I can go ahead and I can take and manipulate these snapshots after they're imported. So here I want the uh, view to be a little bit um, different than it came in. So here I'll just select two of these snapshots and change their view simultaneously. And now I have a nice representation or snapshot of both the, again, the on and off position of this electrical shaver. That again was originated as the view rep. Now what I can also do by doing this multiple selection technique of snapshots is I can take certain components inside of this inventor assembly and inside of Publisher I can change its appearance style. So now I've really highlighted that switch and maybe I could add a call out in our annotation but I think you get the idea. So here we can see the off and on position of the highlighted switch. Now let's take a look at this other storyboard that was created and inside of this that's that presentation file that we saw. So that presentation file um, that somebody did inside of Inventor um, went through design review and now has come full circle, if you will, all the way inside of Inventor Publisher. But again, now we can take this and we can modify it for our documentation purposes. So from a technical documentation standpoint, you know, maybe I want to do things like switch its appearance to this technical line drawing. Now you'll see here there's a lot of fine detailed components and maybe that line style or that appearance style that we have isn't quite what we want. Well, inside of Inventor Publisher, I can create any line style I want. So here, this appearance style, I'll just call it thin technical line. And I can go through, pick the uh, general type of display that I want or appearance that I want. And I'm going to really thin down the silhouette edges. And once that's um, been created, I can then, of course, apply it to all of the affected snapshots that I want. So now I can really kind of pick up more on that detail. But maybe there's a few other things that I need to do um, inside of this storyboard that again was this presentation file. So you'll see as I click the different snapshots it's of course going to play the sequence that is required. So one of the things I want to do is I know that internally it's going to start assembling these components so I can select just a couple um, snapshots and maybe zoom in to really highlight that assembly process. So again originally starting with the presentation file but modifying it inside of Inventor Publisher to really fit my technical documentation needs. And of course, from this point, we could do all of the standard things that you've seen done in Publisher before. I could add all my trail visibilities. I could add balloons and annotations. But what I really wanted to show you today is how you can take an existing presentation file or existing legacy data that you have in Inventor and that you've already published as DWF files and for design review purposes and leverage that inside of Inventor Publisher.